Hey, what's going on everybody? Got a, another video for you guys today, and this one I'm pretty happy with. I've actually been using this and another item for about a week or two now at this point, so uh, beyond just a brand new item, it's something that's actually been put into use, and that is the SOG Baton Q1. And I wanted to show you the packaging that it comes in. I'll uh, hold that in case you want to read it. And hold that for you on the side. Kind of feel like I'm doing Chart us Prime intro right here on the side, on the front, on the back. If you guys uh, haven't ever followed him for anything. <clears throat> And on the top, nothing. So we'll get rid of that. Guys, I'm really digging this. And I know that, uh, you know, Sog's a, a good brand. You know, they're more of an entry level brand. I think there's, you know, comparable to, let's say, a Gerber or something similar to that, maybe. Um, you guys might have different opinions, but, uh, you know, lower grade steels, uh, entry level prices, that kind of thing. But this stuff that they came out with, I think, is just truly innovative. And what I think this applies most for. And what helps me is the person that's in dress wear. Um, so I have a job where I have to wear a shirt and tie and dress pants five days a week. And uh, all this other tactical stuff is great if you have jeans or cargo pants or cargo shorts or lots of different pockets or more rugged stuff um, that you have a lot of space to keep things in. But for me, uh, I don't have that luxury five days a week. Uh, so this was a great option. I've uh, shown before my Boker pen that I carry all the time, a tactical pen, but this thing I think is going to probably replace that. And I'll still have it and use it, but especially on weekends where I can carry bigger knives and things like that. But uh, here's the pen. So there's a little slot right here. Pen comes out. Uh, I don't believe it's Fisher brand as far as the cartridge, but it is a pressurized cartridge so it will write you know upside down all over the place it should work pretty well for you you have this pocket clip which is great it's not deep carry but so little this sticks out and it looks so much similar to a pen that it does just look like there's a pen in your pocket at least from my perspective here are two more of the tools so it's this uh, slip joint you hear that click into place and you have I believe they're calling this a medium or small medium flathead screwdriver and then a bottle opener. I have used both of these already. I use this on my key bar to tighten it up. And I use this to open a, I think, cider or beer last weekend. It performed no problem, just like it's supposed to. And it has a nice secure feel. So clicks up and clicks closed. And then the Q1, which is the smallest of all of them, has the feature of uh, scissors. So my recommendation is to know that when you're opening the scissors, they're the opposite of the pen button, which I think is a good thing. So you have the pen button here. You know if you're going to open the scissors, rotate it around to the opposite side, pull, and close. And then just so you can get a look at that, these are what I think are very good industrial scissors for their size. Uh, you know, you've seen a lot of these spring-loaded scissors on, on other things. It's a nice thickness. I don't know the exact thickness of the steel on here, um, but it feels robust. And let you, just so you can hear that. And I have used these as well to, to cut a few things. Um, I think the best way to cut with these is to go in a plier motion, you know, a little bit separated from the hand. Because um, if you do get close, you can it can slide a little bit just because of the difference of, of size. You know, even if you have this here, um, you can pinch your, your skin a little bit like that. So I've just kind of gone like this and it's pretty, you know, you, you hold it there and you actuate with the thumb and it seems to work really well. I'll uh, cut some paper here for you guys. Toss that down. All right, so you can see the action. A little hard to cut uh, through the viewfinder, but no problem on that at all. Let me get this paper out of the way. And, you know, 
I'll give you guys, try not to cut my fingers off here while looking through the camera. Yep. 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 And uh, just to let you know about the uh, use of these or, or how strong they are, there was a door at our office that had some of that, uh, you know that fuzz that has kind of a backing, like a Velcro backing to it that um, lets the doors brush closed and not? Well, there's a piece of that that had come undone and stuck out, and we had to slide on a new piece, and this cut right through that, uh, no problem. So I'm very impressed with these. When you close it, uh, the trick with this is to make sure you go all the way down. So you might think, oh, straight's fine. It won't close. You have to have it so it's almost inverted a little bit, and then push it shut and no problem. Once you figure that out, so I'll show you. If, you're, if you have it kind of just straight, like, oh, look straight, see it won't close all the way down so you can't turn it, you know, pull it up anymore this way and push closed. Really happy with this. Uh, to give you some additional specs on it, the Baton 1 lengthwise is 5.6 inches, so almost exactly like a pen. I mean, if you put a pen next to this, uh, Hold on one second, let me grab one for you guys. I should have grabbed my uh, Boker one that I use, which is the 50 cal. But here's just, you know, a standard work pen next to it. And you can see there's very little difference. I mean, maybe it's a touch longer and a touch thicker, but this fits in the pocket extremely well. Uh, oh, I'll write on that paper too. Sorry about that just so you guys can see the writing action on it. A little tic-tac-toe. Uh, that was a win, all right, but writes perfectly fine. So I'm pretty pleased with this. Like I said, I've been carrying it for about a week or two weeks now. Pot clip holds well, fits in the dress pants perfectly fine, and the biggest thing is with the dress pants is the phone. You know, so uh, my cell phone's a decent size. Uh, it's a Droid uh, Turbo something or other, but it, it just when you have the regular knife in with that uh, phone, sometimes it's too bulky or it's clacking around all the time. And I just think this has worked really well. Uh, the scissors, just a great action on them. Once you get used to how to close it, works perfectly. Um, who always needs a bottle opener and a flathead? You need it all the time. And a pen. So I would recommend this. Uh, this is in no way sponsored by anybody. It just I've been trying to find something that works for the person that's wearing dress pants and dress clothes. And this piece works really well. I'll do a video on the Q2 coming up, which is kind of now my standard EDC carry at this point, uh, especially based on certain areas I go to that have restrictions on length or type of opening of knives and all that kind of stuff and also that just fit in the dress clothes. Now, if it's the weekend and I'm going to be out doing something, you know, um, activity-wise or just that I have, you know, more carry options now that I live in a much more knife-friendly state than I previously did, I'll be carrying obviously some of my more EDC blades, some of my CRKTs, some of my Browses, um, my spider coast, things like that, along with a different maybe multi-tool that has more than four tools on it. But for the dress clothes wearer, I think this system, um, especially once you see the second one, which I'll do a video on shortly, uh, is a great way to go. So with that uh, done, I'll get on to the next video. Catch you guys later.